Hey guys, today we're going to be teaching you how to 3D model and 3D print a reptile ledge. Start by opening up your 3D modeling program of choice. I like to use Fusion 360. You're going to need to start with creating a new sketch and drawing out the circles for your deli cups. 1.5 ounce deli cups typically are 58 millimeters in diameter, so that is what I'm currently using here for them to situate in the ledge perfectly without falling out or having any play. Now this particular ledge is going to have two cups in it, one for water, one for food. So what I've done here is I'm offsetting the original circle by 65 millimeters so that they are perfectly spaced apart. Now we're determining the total size of the ledge. This ledge will be 80 millimeters by 150 millimeters. Now that your size has been determined, you're going to need to extrude it. When extruding it, you need to take into consideration the size of your suction cup. My suction cup has a spacing between it that is three millimeters. So this in particular is what I'm going to be extruding this space to. Now keeping the size uniform, draw on the back panel, which will be three millimeters, and will be the total length of the entire ledge. When extruding it, I like to have it around 45 millimeters. Anything larger than that just looks out of place and is unnecessary. Now that's the basic outline of the ledge, but there's still a lot more work to do here. One thing that everybody should know is that 90 degree angles are weak. So what you need to do is go in and fill it all of the edges so that they are curved. This allows it to have a lot more strength instead of having a weak point in the model, which is the 90 degree angle. Next, what I like to do is fill at the front edges. This is not for strength or anything. This is just so that you're not wasting material. Um, if it's unnecessary, I like to leave it out. I complete the same process for the bottom edges. Because the last thing you want to do is waste material for no reason. Also like to fill at the edges where the cups will sit. I do this particularly because some 3D printers are a little bit inconsistent and they're not 100% accurate. So having this fillet there allows the cups to sit nicer. Next, what we're going to do is put in the holes where the suction cups will be. The suction cups I'm using need an 8 millimeter hole. Uh, yours might be different, so be sure to take the measurements and be 100% when you're making your model. What you're going to need to do as well is include a larger hole. I like to include a 15 millimeter hole so that your suction cup can go in and then slide up so then it locks into place, but is still removable. That's good. basic outlines are done, you're going to need to do an extrude cut all the way to the rear face. Uh -huh. 
and just as the cup holes I like to fill it the edges where the suction cups will go in as well this just makes it a little bit easier because sometimes 3d printers can be a little bit inconsistent and that's it for the 3d model all you need to do now is export it as an STL and import it into your slicing software. As indicated before, my slicing software of choice is Simplify 3D. So here I'm importing the model. The way it's actually situated is perfect because like this, you don't need any supports whatsoever. One thing to keep in mind when 3D printing is that PETG -E is the only FDA certified filament. So ensure if you're making things for your animals that you're making it out of this filament. Now your process is complete. All that's left to do now is send it to your 3D printer. And there you have it, a 3D printed reptile edge. This design is now available on Thingiverse. You can find the link in the description for a direct download. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.